So, um, tenancy sign machines um, is something we mentioned yesterday, and um, it's a concept that we're keen to uh, try and introduce. Well, we've piloted it a little bit already, um, but we want to try and roll this out a bit more widely. Um, so we thought we'd um, tell you about uh, what they are exactly, what it involves, what the benefits are, and what we plan to do. Um, so, if you like, um, the uh, scientific analysis servers, or sign machines as we call them, currently they're shared by everyone. Um, there are some issues with that, and uh, we think that um, the uh, a solution to this is an alternative approach with sign machines um, shared by um, particular communities, and then we can have multiple ones of those provided with the um, Jasmine Community Cloud. Um, so we'll talk about what we've done so far and um, the plan from here. So uh, just a reminder of, of where we are in the kind of context diagram. Um, we're talking about the slime machines here in the interactive compute. Um, and what we're proposing is that we use the Jasmine Community Cloud to enable instances of those um, slime machines to be deployed within cloud tenancies over here. So what are the issues that we currently face with um, the uh, sign machines? There's some pros and cons. So the current ones, uh, they're, they're pretty easy to find, easy to access, um, and they provide interactive compute for um, various small tasks. There's the common stack of, stack of software installed um, between these sign machines and the Lotus batch cluster. And you can also use uh, the sign machines to submit, monitor, manage, the, the jobs that you're running on the um, the cluster. So they're pretty useful things and um, I think as we saw in the poll earlier probably the most popular bit of Jasmine that people um, tend to use. Some of the cons though and there's quite a wide range of usage patterns um, you could call it a bit of a free-for-all. Um, so we do find sometimes that um, you know with resources being consumed um, heavily by a small number of users that that can um, affect the performance of these machines for, for everybody. Um, sometimes they lock up um, and there are arguably processes which you know are run on these machines which really should be farmed out to um, the batch cluster so you know particularly large uh, you know large uh, code runs, uh, routine repeated processing, sometimes production workflows which which really um, you know need to, to make use of the, the, um, the batch um, um, environment. On our part from the support side they require um, some constant monitoring, we try our best um, and you know we've got more of them now than we used to but that of course means more monitoring and you know given that all the machines are shared between everybody um, any interventions to try and sort problems out um, affects quite a lot of people. Um, so what can we do about that? So um, we think that the, the solution involves um, uh, sign machines shared by a community instead. Um, so how does that work exactly? So the Jasmine team uh, would maintain a virtual machine template, uh, which is, if you like, approved to be deployed into any um, a managed tenancy. So that's a managed tenancy is one that needs to be able to access the secure resources like good workspaces and the Cedar archive file systems and to be able to submit jobs to Lotus. So it needs to be able to do all of those things. So it needs to be a template that's created in a particular way um, and kind of approved by, by the system team. Um, and, and that team would keep that template up to date. So for example, it's been recently been updated to uh, CentOS 7 on your operating system and it's able now to, the, the machines deployed from that template can submit to Slurm rather than um, LSF, the previous sort of batch manager. So the Jasmine team would also set up the tenancy on the cloud platform and, and make an overall assignment of um, memory, disk, CPU, um, and set it up as a, as a service in the accounts portal. Um, they can then assign um, one or more managers, even some deputies, who will be able to approve applications um, for access from people from that community. So the idea is that the, the manager or the deputies would be people from that community who know who's who, what their needs are, but also um, in that role, 
willing to take on um, that, that role of sort of managing that service for that community. The idea is partly that um, the users from that community are likely to have broadly similar workflows, perhaps um, therefore disrupt each other a bit less. And so it's easier for members of that community to agree, you know, usage patterns, uh, behavior, and, and hence the use of the machine resources among themselves. Um, and the manager can, can kind of gain a, a collective view of um, the, uh, um, you know, the, the requirements uh, for that, that um, community. So within the agreed envelope of resources, the CPU, the memory and the disk, um, you can then, the manager can then deploy um, as many um, machines as will fit, but they can talk to the Jasmine team um, if they need to, to have, uh, you know, additional um, resources assigned to that tenancy and to be able to, to deploy uh, new ones, if, uh, additional ones if needed. One of the advantages is that the, um, the, the manager can talk to their own community, so if there's any interventions needed, like restarting the machine, um, they can talk to their own users, and um, the idea is that that intervention only affects that, that community of users, which is um, obviously a benefit. And it can be done at a time to suit, suit those particular users. Um, yeah, so uh, given the overall resources, additional machines can be deployed. Um, and these machines can be accessed in exactly the same way. So they are inside the, the fence, if you like, but they're accessible via the, the standard uh, login or NX login, as we saw yesterday, the, the, the different types of login nodes in exactly the same way as um, the, the current shared ones. And another benefit of this is that we can support many um, tenancies uh, in this way. So we can have multiple um, of these managed tenancies, each with, with one or more sign machines. Um, we're limited pretty much just by the resources that the cloud um, platform has as a whole. About two minutes, Matt. Okay, so these are available alongside the existing shared um, uh, machines, which, which won't disappear just for now. Um, they're gonna stay there, we'll talk about why. So what have we done so far? We've done a pilot rollout to a limited set of communities so far. That was with our um, existing cloud platform. And now we've got an additional cloud platform um, available. That's got greater capacity, and it's also got some better features which um, suit the provision of this type of um, service a bit better. And as I say, the template has recently been updated um, to cater for, for the current um, uh, operating system and, and batch cluster. So the plan from here then really is to um, do this as a wider rollout and to uh, engage with um, uh, more communities to get them set up with a tenancy like this. We will retain the, the shared sign machines, particularly for um, so that we can have the physical machines, which give the high memory. Um, and for users, sometimes they're not particularly attached to a big community with someone available to do this kind of manager role. So there will still be the shared ones available, but where possible, the default would be that we would use this model for for, for most communities. The idea being that you get some autonomy in, re in return, if you like, for, for taking on some of the support, support responsibility for those communities. And hopefully end up with um, you know, happier users and um, a less stressed support team as well. So benefits for everybody. Thank you.